rivalries drive any sport forward. From football to basketball to mixed martial arts, competition can drive you to do better in training, to push yourself to the limits, and to go the extra mile in pursuit of your dreams. But there are times when the word rivalry doesn't do justice to a relationship between two athletes. The cool main event of the evening for the Rear Combat Federation light heavyweight title of the world. For Mohammed Saeed Malam and Mohammed Fakhreddin, what started out as a friendly rivalry became a case of aversion and resentment. Welcome to Brave Combat Federation's historic 50th show. One, two, three, we got a jury. Brave 50, double champ is coming, baby, let's go! From a magnificent title belt with respect all around to a hate-filled contest with bad blood spilling over. The story of Mohammed Fakhreddin and Mohammed Saeed Malam's rivalry is reaching its boiling point. Two of the most savage light heavyweights on the planet will collide. On the line, the chance to become the new light heavyweight champion of the world, but also a chance to silence their biggest rival. The first time Mohammed Saeed Malam and Mohammed Fakhreddin were scheduled to fight, respect was the tone. They understood the magnitude of the occasion and celebrated two Arab fighters on the top of the world of mixed martial arts. A last minute cancellation changed everything. So I have been training hard for a long time for this fight. So now he's here. Mohamed Fakhreddin is not here. He has been sick, but it's not his problem. So now he just expects to get the belt because he's here ready to fight. Where is Fakhreddin? Irritated by the lateness of the cancellation. Saeed Malin went off on Fakhreddin. The accusations and back and forth trash talk ramped up to levels never seen before for a title fight in Brave Combat Federation. On August 1st, their paths will cross once again. This time, there will be a fight. There will be be a champion. This is the path to true championship greatness. This is the road to Brave CF 52. In itself, the Brave CF 50 fight between Fakhreddin and Saeed Mala bared huge significance to MMA in the Arab world and beyond. It was a time for the fastest growing MMA organization in the world to crown a new light heavyweight champion. Reigning middleweight title holder Fakhreddin and top contender Saeed Malam were the natural choices for the vacant title fight. The showdown was scheduled for the historic Brave CF 50 and built on mutual respect. Fakhreddin suffered with a stomach bug throughout fight week, but powered through to make weight and get ready for the biggest fight of his life. However, his body gave out on fight day. All right, Brave Nation, unfortunately we have some news that the champ Mohammed Fakhreddin became extremely ill, so he will be unable to participate yeah, please let him just talk two minutes. He will not talk bad about Fakhreddin. With their fighter willing but unable to make the walk, Team Lebanon called off the fight 45 minutes before they were due to touch gloves in the center of the magnificent Arad Fort in Bahrain. Can the latest once again write his name into the history books? What actually happened uh, at Bray 50, I was supposed to fight and then I, w I felt ill, I couldn't fight. It didn't happen, just fight day. It was the whole time I was there, I was sick and then um, it just led to fight day that I tried to make the fight but the doctors wouldn't allow me to fight because my health was at risk and uh, it, was, it was a smart decision I, that I took in my career. Uh, being injured, 
like I've never had an issue with that. I always fight with injuries, but um, being ill and not being able to fight physically, uh, it's uh, I've never had that before, and uh, it, it, it kind of really pissed me off because I really wanted to beat him up, and I just physically couldn't. Boiling with adrenaline, Saeed Malam went up to the cage alone and made a speech that would help mold their newfound rivalry. يعني أنا موجود هنا الخصم تاعي ما جاش مع إنه يعني قلل شوية الاحترام تاعه أنا كنت حب يعني إن الرجلي وهذه الأمور والكلام اللي هدر عليها حبيت نأدبه في في القفص. Clearly upset at the last minute cancellation, Saeed Malam said Fahradin was unprofessional and demanded to be crowned the champion right then and there. Straight away, that didn't sit right with Fakhradin. Uh, when he first walked in the cage, I thought he was going to just wish me luck. And uh, I mean, I, I thought he was just going to wish me a uh, speed of recovery and uh, to be able to do the fight again. But then when he came with that cheap talk and then him asking for the belt without fighting for it, it just made me lose respect for that guy. And. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a nonsense and uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a guy, it didn't look like a guy that he was there to fight for the belt. It looked like he just wanted to get the belt like for free without even doing anything to, to get it. Um, actually, after, after what he talked or after what he said in the cage, nothing surprises me. Uh, it was a cheap talk at first in the cage and then I knew what kind of person he is. But then, a post on the internet would be the beginning of the next phase of the rivalry. Uh, when I saw that poster, I got really mad because if, if he would have disrespected me, just me, I would have been fine with that because uh, like I know he's trying to, he's, he would be trying to sell a fight, but then when he disrespected my last name and family, that kind of, that, that really pissed me off. and. Uh, uh, the family tried to play it cool and tell me that it wasn't nonsense and not, not to fall uh, through his trash talk and all that, but um, it, I, I'm taking it personal and at the same time it's going to be professional fight night, but uh, yeah, he, he showed his true color, he, he's a trash. I did the story of Fakhr al-Din, because I was a little bit of a pain and I was a little bit of a decision. وانا اللي درتها وانا اللي حطيتها صوره على النت آه يعني وقت غضب كنت متعصب ياسر بعديك بعد يومين من من البوست اللي درته نحيتها عشان فيها ولاد فيها كومونت مش مليح وسب وشتم يعني ما بين آه اللي فانتي الجزائريين واللي فانتي اللبنانيين وخرجوا على الموضوع وبرك upset at the perceived disrespect to his family name coming from Saeed Malam. Fahradin exploded. The two started an intense war of words that hasn't slowed down ever since early April. Saeed Malam has accused Fahradin of treating Arab fighters differently. Fahradin is a person who is not a person. He is a person who is a person who is a person who is a person متكبر يعني هذه مش المرة الأولى يعملها مع فايتر عربي كيلا مع أجانب يعني برازيليين وروسيين يعني يعمل الفايتر المحترم المتربي كيلا مع فايتر عربي ولا ولا جزائري بخاصية الجزائريين يقل الاحترام تاعه ويحب يعني يدير شخصية باللي هو الفايتر يعني القبيح الواعر اللي يخوف الناس هو مام دبابة ما تخافش منه هو بالنسبة لي إنسان تافه إنسان تافه ما بس يحب نخرج عن الموضوع وشتب أنا مشتمش هو يشتم يسر بالنسبة لي إنسان تافه ومعقد معقد نفسيا In turn, Fahradin has branded Saeed Malam as disrespectful while saying he has no respect for his opponent's career. As a person, I don't really know him. 
But um, after what, he, what what he said in the cage and that poster, it shows what kind of person he is. So uh, I'm not, I'm only gonna say what I saw, and uh, I would say he is a, a disrespectful, cheap person. كيما كنت داخل القفص يعني كنت متمنى نلعب فايت خير منا نخش نهدر ونتكلم مع وسرا وش ما صراش كان يعني عندي تخمام كبير يجاوني يعني أوقات صعبة في التحضير المشاكل اللي كانوا عندي الإصابات اللي كانوا عندي ونشوف يعني الناس كل جات تلعب في اللي فايت اللي يربح ربح واللي يخسر خسر غير أنا داخل يعني مش نفهم يعني ما في الدقيقة هذيك ما كانتش عندي معلومات كثيرة وعلمت غير باللي فخر الدين مريض ورفض الفايت وبرك. The rivalry has involved people from both corners, with friends, fans, and family engaged and eager for the next move of each fighter. Each provocation, each video, each poster has made this one of the biggest rivalries in recent memory. First contract already signed. I'm fighting someone who pretends to be a man, but unfortunately, this guy is a piece of shit. Waited for me till I couldn't fight. I said that I couldn't fight, and then all of a sudden, he's acting tough. <laughs> it has engaged two countries and the entire Arab world who have held their breath since the cancellation of their fight at Brave CF50. في أول مشوار يعني كنت حتى احترم يعني فخر الدين يعني عربي مقاتل يعني من نوع رفيع لبناني مسلم كان عندي احترام كبير له رب عائلة يشتغل على البيتيو يعني كان الأمور ماشية عادية ويومين قبل الفايت تبدلوا ولا يعني خرج عن الموضوع ولا يستهزئ ويهدر في كلام ما عنده حتى معنى وخرج عن الموضوع وتبدل ولا إنسان آخر وهنا يعني بن الوجه الحقيقي تاعو يوم الميزان وبعد الميزان وبعد يعني ما ما درناش الفايت بن الوجه الحقيقي تاع فخر الدين بالنسبة لي أنا ما بقاش عندي احترام أنا ما احترمش إنسان ما يحترمنيش وما عندوش أخلاق رياضية Fans around the world now await their much anticipated title encounter at Brave CF 52. التحضيرات يعني متغيرتش كتير أنا ما وقفتش تدريبات يعني كملت يعني درت شوية تخفيض عشان كان شهر رمضان وهذا شهر العبادة يعني درت شهر راحة ورجعت يعني نفس التحضيرات نفس الجيم بلان كلش كلش عادي متغير وأنا يعني نحس في روحي أحسن من الوقت اللي فات. So Saeed and I we basically met when when I was going to to train in his in his former gym I went there to train like once or twice and and we met there and the first thing was uh, sparring straight away, so it was quite interesting. You know, as I'm still competing and I'm actually two years younger than him, I think it was difficult for him to accept my role as a coach straight away. Uh, but then like, it evolved very positively and, uh, and now I know he, he really trusts me and, uh, and he's, a, he's a very good student and obviously like, super promising with a, uh, with a great shot for the title ahead. So we've, We've made quite some uh, 
<laughs> quite a quite a nice uh, a nice trip together, a nice uh, a nice journey together. We had a nice journey together, and, and now it's great to to go uh, to, to, for the title, to go and fight for the title for, for Brave. I'm very proud of him because he has been working so hard for that. Uh, he didn't reach he didn't reach this point like in in one one second, you know. Like I've been working like crazy. So now the, the, the work pays, so this is why I'm happy for him. He deserves it. Uh, th this preparation has been good. I've been, I've been having fun training and eating whatever I want since um, I, don't I don't really have to cut a lot of weight. And um, yeah, this, this camp has been fun. And uh, I've been working really hard. I've been, uh, been working at my full energy and uh, just having fun doing it. The uh, advantage Lando yeah, is the first elbow. اسم الله يعني انا شايف كثير فايت فايتريه باوروبا وبرات اوروبا بس مثل فخره كالقلب اللي عنده اياه يعني قليل شايف فايت اسم الله الشغله الثانيه اللي عنده اياها الكومبينيشنات اللي بيضربها يعني من اول ضرب لاخر ضرب في كثير قوى الفرق بينه وبين اللاعب اللي بده يلعب معه فخره انه فخره هي سريدي يجيب السكند تايتل للبنان ونحن معه وهو بيعرف انه انه في جيبه اذا قرارات حيجيبها وحيمثل لبنان وحيحكموا العالم لبنان وحيعمل شيء انجاز لبنان بحياته ما شافها. مثل هيدا سعيد حياته 150 عم يلعب معه، يعني انت وصلك ريشه يا حمار. أول ما بلشنا باللعبة كان إنه فخر الدين هو قبل ما كلنا يعني فيها اللعبة وعطول هو نحن لحقينه فيها للعبة في مرحلة كنت بعتقد نص نص الفرق عنا وقف التمرين ورا كورونا ما كورونا بوقتها هو دال يتمرن وجب التايتل اسمي علي كرم فخر الدين بي للبطل بطل العالم محمد علي فخر الدين والله شوف اذا بدي احكي عن محمد من بدايته محمد كان هاوي يطلع يحضر على التلفزيون ويقول لي انا بدي العب هاي اللعبه قل له يا بي انت صرت بسن متاخر لهي اللعبه كان لازم هادي تكون قبل بس هو كان عنده اصرار كثير مش شوي انه يلعب هاي اللعبه وبالنتيجه لعبها والحمد لله يعني اذا بدي احكي عن ابني يمكن شد شوي مجروح بس انا جدا فخور فيه مش شوي كثير فخور فيه ورافع راسي والحمد لله Alright so this game is uh, it's a game that we've been playing since we were a lot of kids and uh, you, as you can tell it's a little bit rough it keeps you in check and uh, the rules is uh, the safe word is cow um, so you, you, we draw like a little two squares and uh, one person has to step into the other square and uh, has to uh, kind of hit the like as many people as he can in that square and runs back. Yeah, but the thing is, if you get caught, you get beat up till he says the safe word. And normally, a lot of people don't want to say the safe word because they think they can escape and go back. But unfortunately, you guys saw what happened at the end. And uh, it is what it is. It's it's a rough game. It's uh. It's a little bit of uh, our personality and it's a little bit of fun and uh, it kind of keeps us in, uh, in a good shape at the same time. He has way more experience than Malim has. Uh, he, he's way more technical, stronger, uh, more powerful uh, and he lasts longer in the cage. Uh, Malim has nothing over Muhammad, yani, nothing at all. In the land of gladiators, two of the biggest warriors in Arab history will collide. On August 1st, a rivalry much bigger than a world title will be settled. On the line, there will be a chance to make history and cement legacy. أول شيء محمد عمل لجسي للبنان وللفريق اللبناني يعني أول لاعب بيعمل بطولة عالم وهلا he's leading the legacy كيف وهو هلا مثل القدوة 
ال يعني تعيتنا هو هلا بالواجهة في هو عطانا دافع وخلى اللعبة he's legalized he legalized the game here the sport here in Lebanon وعطى شوي أمل للعيبة إنه فينا نعمل فينا نعطي إذا إذا أنا عطيت أنتوا فيكم تعمل Um, I don't really like talking about myself, but I would say that if if I if I ha if I have make an impact in 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 the Middle East or in the region, uh, it would be a great honor. And uh, if not, then it is what it is. I'm just here to fight, and uh, I'm here to make my own legacy. I'm not here to wait for. I'm not here waiting for anyone to tell me if I have accomplished what they wanted it or what they expected or not. I'm here to have fun. I'm here. Uh, to fight and I'm here to make my own legacy. If they like it, good. If they don't like it, then that's too bad. For the winner, will become only the second Brave Combat Federation light heavyweight champion of the world. But more than that, Brave CF 52 is about earning respect. It's about pride. It's about validation. It's about honor. On August 1st, in association with leading local promotion, the Golden Cage, Brave Combat Federation will make its debut in Italy. A title fight and athletes from across the globe will descend upon the land of gladiators for a groundbreaking show, which will empower and change the landscape of the sport in the region. Uh, في الوقت الحالي ان شاء الله يعني نفوز عليه وراح نربيه ان شاء الله في القفص ان شاء الله ما نخطاش برك في الفايت وما يكونش خطا يعني تقني فني بربي ان شاء الله يعني راح نادب وتاديب المره الجايه الفايتر الجاي الا ما خدش الا ما خدش فايت تقاعد اخر فايت او ياخذ فيه ريتريت تقاعد راح يتربى وراح يحترم من الخصوم الجايين ان شاء الله I'm gonna whip that ass, boy. It's a long way down to the in the main event of the evening, the biggest rivalry in Brave CF history will be resolved. Reigning middleweight champion Mohamed Fahredi moves up to light heavyweight to go to war against arch enemy Mohamed Saeed Malam. Uh, I expect fireworks, like always. Fahreddin, uh, he's the one with the heart. If you think it's gonna be an easy fight, well, make your own experience. Many before that were thinking that Said is not maybe a big deal until they get hit by the right hand and get blocked by the, the wrestling. So. Fakhreddin, we are the name of Lebanon. We second title. We are Lebanon. is proud of you. He's going to get slept. Said is going to make him sleep. For sure. This fight is not just a fight, but it's a fight. Because I حينزل اسمه بالتاريخ يعني قبل الفايت طبعا بتمنى له التوفيق وبقول له انا ناطر هذا الفايت اكثر منك آه وطبعا بالفايت اللي قبله انا قلت لك هذا الحزام اللي حتجيبه لابنك عليه بس انا هلا هذا الحزام اللي حتجيبه بقول لك يا بيي هذا الي وللعائله كلها فطبعا بتمنى لك الفوز وانت قدها وشد همتك parce que pendant ce combat, il a une telle rage et euh, il donne vraiment tout. Et euh, il sait qu'il y a beaucoup de personnes qui le suivent. Je pense qu'il ne veut pas décevoir non plus. Et on sait que, bah, je sais déjà qu'il s'est entraîné énormément pour ça. Et j'ai en aucun doute qu'il va gagner ce combat. Je suis le Mohamed Fakhreddin. Et je suis le père de la bataille. وإن شاء الله بضل بطل على طول بطل العالم وبتمنى له كل التوفيق. The hatred is there. The bad blood is real. Who will have the last laugh? He's gonna finish saying, "I feel sorry for you." Find out this Sunday, August 1st. Don't blink.